Let's do this. His invite to the spotlight, Tyler Shields. Welcome to this week's Invite to the Spotlight. Today we have with us Laurel Wynn, who's a lieutenant in the school's ROTC program, and she's also attending the United States Naval Academy. So, Laurel, welcome to the show. I'm happy to be here. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell us a little bit about, like, what the Naval Academy is? I can. All right. The Naval Academy is one of the six service academies. Mm -hmm. One you may have heard of is West Point, or the United States Military Academy, yeah, right. which is the training the Army's training program for officers. The Naval Academy is for the Navy and the Marine Corps and it's one of the ways the Navy trains their officers for service. Hmm. I, in, on June 30th I will be swearing in and taking the oath of office and going into plebe summer which is a six-week version of kind of like boot camp except right. not quite and then I will be going my four years of university at the Naval Academy and then serving five years in the fleet. And in exchange for these five years in the fleet, the Navy is paying for all of my schooling oh. at the Naval Academy. Oh, awesome. Well, uh, so what motivated you to actually pursue the Naval Academy? I became interested in ROTC in middle school because I wanted to learn about all the scholarship opportunities it offers. Right. So I joined as a freshman, and throughout the years I learned more about the service academies and Master Guns, who's Master Gunnery Sergeant Worley, mm -hmm. who's the head of ROTC, encouraged me and inspired me to go try for the Naval Academy, and I got it. Hmm, awesome. So any advice for some students who maybe want to join? Uh, yes. One thing I would emphasize is not just for students interested in service academies and ROTC in college, is trying as hard as you can even on stuff that you don't want to like when you come home and the last thing you want to do is your homework you still got to do it because you never know when it's going to count and one thing I would suggest specifically for ROTC and the academies is kind of look at how and all the things you do now and ask is it enough because the academies they look at athletics, leadership, which also includes community service and academics. Right. It's kind of a trio of everything they look for, and you have to be strong in all areas to get in. So, mm. look at sports and ask like, are you doing enough? Mm. Academics, are your grades good enough? Leadership, do you have leadership roles? Do you do community service at all? And you got to figure out what you're lacking and then try to help with it. Mm. And I'm happy to talk to anyone who wants to. Just grab me and ask me, what can I do to get into an ROTC program, get an ROTC scholarship, or go to a service academy? Hmm. All right. Well, there you have it. That's this week's Invite to the Spotlight. Stop by the ROTC room to see Master Guns or Laurel Wynn. They'd be happy to speak with you. And that's it. See you next week.